What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to go over the Season 4 trailer that we got yesterday for Call of Duty, and I just wanted to go through, pick out a bunch of the details that you might have missed if you just sort of watched this casually and didn't pay too much attention or like go through it frame by frame. And then of course I did want to share my thoughts on what we know about Season 4 so far. So first up, we have the new operator that was revealed here. He is from South Africa. Don't really have too many other details, at least at the time of recording this video. And of course, you can see he's holding a nail gun. So it looks like the nail gun is going to be coming as a weapon in Cold War and therefore also Warzone. And when it comes to this, I think it's pretty cheesy and silly, especially considering the fact that he doesn't even have a hose attached to it, and I don't see any compartment for a compressed air canister or anything, so it looks like it's just going to be working magically, and I think that's pretty silly and unnecessary. The next thing I notice here is right at the beginning, he sets a Desert Eagle on the table, and it even says Annihilator on the back end of it. And we do see this later in the trailer as well, being used to take out an attack chopper. So, looks like the Annihilator is coming as a score streak, just like we have with the War Machine and the Death Machine, which have both been score streaks in the past in Call of Duty. Now we're going to have that hand cannon, that Annihilator, that's going to be that guaranteed one shot, but you've probably only got six or seven shots with it. And when it comes to that, I'm actually quite excited for that. I've been hoping to see the Annihilator come back as a streak. Basically, since we saw that the War Machine was coming as a streak, I wanted to also see the Annihilator. But overall, that's pretty cool. Next up, looks like we're going to be seeing a brand new rifle, and this appears to be a G3 or some sort of a variant of a G3. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong if you know some more details on this. But in the trailer, they do show this off as a full auto. Initially, I thought this would be a semi-auto when I first took this screenshot. And honestly, I was a little disappointed to see that it is full auto. I think the game would benefit more from another semi-auto added into rotation rather than just another full auto, because we already have a good number of full auto rifles. But next up, we have our first decent look at Collateral, which is a new 6v6 and 12v12 map that's coming to Cold War. And this appears to be set in Angola, roughly around where the satellite map is set. And we can see part of it's going to be more outdoor, desert, open areas, and then the other part is going to be buildings. So it looks like we'll see a good amount of variety in playstyles. We'll see sniping, shotguns, and everything in between being used on this. And I did think it was interesting that they specifically mentioned 6v6 and 12v12, because to me, that seems to essentially confirm that they're planning on keeping 12v12 around. And it's not just going to be a limited time thing. It must be very popular. I did suspect it would be quite popular with Cold War players. And to me, this sort of confirms that. After that, I just want to point out the nail gun shows up once again in the trailer, but this time it's in the gameplay itself. And this once again just seems to confirm that this is a magical nail gun because there's no hose plugged into it or anything. But yeah, just wanted to express how silly I think this overall thing is. But also we can see the new 2v2 map that's going to be coming to Cold War, which is called Amsterdam. And then finally, we are getting hijacked as a 6v6 map. So this is our remade map that we're getting this season. Seems like they're doing at least one per season now. And it seems like, once again, they're just going up with a straight-up remaster rather than a reskin of the map. And this brings us into the Warzone side of things. The first big thing that I noticed here is the Gulag is going to be set on Hijacked. And this is looking really good to me because the current Gulag that we have access to, the Standoff Gulag, is the worst Gulag we've had, in my opinion, since Warzone launched. Closely followed by the previous one, which was Nuketown. And the primary reason I didn't like either of those gulags is they're not even close to symmetrical. And I think in a no respawn 1v1 setting like this, symmetry is the way to go. And Hijacked is a very symmetrical map, so I'm very excited for this version of the Gulag. I think it's definitely going to be my favorite in quite some time. But then after that in Warzone, looks like there's going to be a couple very slight map changes or additions. And that is some satellites are going to be landing in Verdansk. We see one right in the middle of the farmland, and then we also saw one near the downtown area. And who knows, there could end up being even more than that. But that's all we saw in the trailer at least. And I do suspect with this, there'll be something gameplay related that goes on surrounding these satellites. We don't quite know yet what that's going to be, but it's likely there's going to be something that affects gameplay that goes on around these satellites. I also just wanted to take the time to point out that they are once again showing off that attack chopper in Warzone with the mounted minigun on it that we've only ever had access to for like a brief few hours in Warzone. Because every time they bring this attack chopper in, it comes with an invisibility glitch that is completely game-breaking, and then they immediately remove it. So I've still never actually played with one of these before, and I just think it's funny that they keep using this in basically all of their advertisements when we just don't have access to it. Hopefully with Season 4, this means they're going to be fixing it, but I said the exact same thing with the Season 3 Reloaded trailer, where they added Nakatomi Plaza, they also showed off that attack chopper, which we haven't seen since then. So yeah, just a little bit of a mini rant contained in this video. 
But finally on the Warzone side of things, it looks like we're also going to be getting a new vehicle in Warzone, and this is a motorcycle. And all I've got to say is I've got one big hope for this, and this is I hope we have the ability to do backflips. I think that would be a lot of fun to be able to hit some jumps, do some backflips like we see in PUBG. But I do kind of doubt that, and we'll just have to wait and see how it plays out. But that's pretty much it as far as I could tell for Warzone from this trailer. Another thing I wanted to point out is it looks like Zoo is going to be coming as an Outbreak map and then likely as a Fireteam map as well. This has been long rumored and leaked to be part of the Ural Mountains, which is where all the Fireteam maps take place. And we did get our first look at it right here. But finally, at the end of the trailer, they did show off some zombies in a subway system, like right in the subway tracks. And this appears to be a tease for something zombies related. I'm not really into zombies, so maybe you zombies guys know more about this than I do. I really don't know what to think about this. I don't know if this is teasing a brand new zombies map or if zombies are coming to Warzone and they're reactivating the subway. I really don't know what this is, but it does appear to be teasing something for zombies. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. At least based on what we can see so far, looks like this will be a fairly standard season. I wouldn't expect any massive changes or anything. Seems like just a standard sort of season with the standard amount of content and no real big changes gameplay wise. Now, of course, I'm interested in hearing from you guys in the comment section below. What did you guys think of this trailer, and what are your thoughts on Season 4 based on what we know so far? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.